efluentenglish.com. Welcome, I'm Cleona. In this video, we're going to look at question tags. In English, we like to make a statement and then ask a question. The statement can be negative. The question will be positive. Let's read what it says. Question tags are used when asking for agreement or confirmation. So the speaker wants to check that you agree or just to confirm that you are listening, you heard what they said. A negative statement plus a positive question tag. And the tag will be short, a short question. I'm going to read each one. You can practice your pronunciation. Focus on my intonation. Where do I go up and down when I speak? Also, the syllable stress. Is there a syllable that's stronger? Because stressed is stronger, so this will be up and long. Listen carefully and repeat. You aren't a teacher, are you? He isn't crazy, is he? Please notice that there's a comma after the statement. Remember, punctuation is important when you're writing in English, but also when you're speaking, you will hear the comma. You will hear the full stop. What does that mean? At the comma, there will be a short pause. You can count one. At the full stop, there will be a longer pause. You can count three. One, two, three. This will help the listener to understand your message because it gives them a little time to think. Let's continue. He wasn't relaxed, was he? They weren't late, were they? Please notice that these four statements are all using the verb to be in the present tense and the past tense. So the tag question will be using the same verb. This is very important. You don't speak French, do you? You don't study for the test. Sorry, you didn't study for the test, did you? So in these two examples, you have the verb plus do. Study them carefully. You haven't been here all week, have you? You hadn't done it before then, had you? Study these examples and the relationship between the statement and the tag question. Look carefully at the verb. You won't fail the exam, will you? You can't drive a car, can you? You couldn't do it for me. Could you? You mustn't say anything. Must we? Ah, this is we. We mustn't say anything. Must we? So the pronoun, I, you, he, she, must agree with the tag question. So there's always a relationship between the statement and the tag. If the statement is we, the tag is we. You shouldn't be so busy, should you? You wouldn't stop me, would you? Statements using barely, hardly, neither, no, nobody, none, 
nothing and seldom are treated as negative statements. Nobody went to the meeting, did they? Nothing is ready, is it? You need to be careful with which words are singular and which word, words are plural. Nobody went to the meeting, did they? Nothing is ready, is it? These examples are taken from Woodward English. I highly recommend that you go to them on Facebook and you subscribe. Thanks for listening. This is Cleona at eFluentEnglish.com.